Hey y'all, I don't know if you heard, but there's a little golf tournament going on in my hometown this week. So in honor of this year's Masters Tournament at the Augusta Nationals, here's 18 golf approved patterns that you can sew that'll take you from the course to the country club. Let's get into it. These next few patterns will kill two birdies with one stone. That means one pattern for both you and your partner. These patterns coming up are couples goals. Pattern number one is Butterick 6984, which is a loose fitting camp collar shirt. It has forward shoulder seams, patch pockets with button flaps, side slits, and you can opt to sew this one either in a short sleeve or a long sleeve length. Now the pants are loose fitting and you can do your option of pleated shorts or pants. They sit slightly below the waist, have a fly front zipper, side seam pockets, and belt loops. And they also have back patch pockets. Now this pattern comes in sizes extra small to extra large and is rated average to sew. Number two is Simplicity 9614, which is an oversized knit polo shirt or an oversized knit polo dress. And it has the option for a long or short sleeve and you can contrast the sleeves, collars, or the button plackets. Now this pattern ranges from extra extra small up to extra extra large, and it is rated easy to sew. Number three is McCall's 8263, which is a camp shirt that has tucks in the front or pleats, and you can opt to sew it with or without patch pockets. And you can do it in short or long sleeves. View C has a decorative trim, and it also includes a bonus bucket hat in four sizes from small to extra large. The sizes on this pattern range from small up to triple extra large and it is rated average to sew. Now number four and number five technically aren't a unisex pattern but there is a women's and a men's matching look. So number four for the women is 8481 and for the men 8485. Both of the two-piece sets include a top that have a three-button placket, a collar, and you can do an optional contrast with a stretch piping or trim. Now for the women's look, it's skorts with an elastic waistband, and in the men's pattern, it's shorts with an elastic waistband, and you can do piping trim and contrast the colors on both bottoms, the skorts and the shorts. Skort shorts. Try saying that three times fast. And for the sizing, for the women's pattern, it ranges from an 8 to 16, then 18 to 26. And on the men's pattern, 34 to 42, and 44 up to 52. Both patterns are rated as average to sew. More color blocking to come in this pattern. So number 6 is a unisex jacket, and it ranges from sizes extra small through extra extra large. The jacket has three styles, and it has drop shoulders long elasticated sleeves, front zipper closure and pockets. Views B and C have contrast front flap with jean snaps and view C has a hood and this pattern is rated average to sew. This one is perfect for those unexpected April showers down here in Georgia. Number seven is an oldie but a goodie. It's McCall's 5252 and if you can find this in your pattern drawer at your local Joann's, consider yourself lucky. If not, you can probably find this one on eBay or Amazon. It's a loose fitting unlined vest or jacket and it has a yoke and front chest pocket and inseam pockets. So what you're gonna get with this one is views A, B, and C have a stand up collar. Views A, B, D, and E have front zipper closures. View C and F are pullover styles, and view D, E, and F have hoods. This pattern ranges from a small to a large, and an extra large to a triple extra large. And you can sew this one up six ways to Sunday. It's rated average to sew, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has the nerve to say it has an MP3 player pocket. So you know this one is an old one. But I had to include it for you guys because I love patterns with multiple views, and I know you do too. Up next, I have the women's patterns, which I'm sure you're going to love even more. Number eight is Butterick 6946 for the missus sizes and Butterick 6947 for the women's sizes. Now, this pattern is a fitted shirt, your classic button down with a collar, collar band, bust darts, long sleeves with pleats, 
button cuffs and you can opt to sew the top in a short sleeve as well. And view A has the long roll sleeves with the option to sew the button tabs on it. The pleated shorts have side front pockets, a fly front zipper, carriers for your belt. You can sew them in various lengths to fit your comfort zone. And if you'd like, you could even elongate these into pants. The sizes range from 4 to 20 on the misses and 20 to 28 on the women's size. This pattern's rated as easy, but I'm looking at this pattern sideways, so I'm just going to call it average. Pattern number 9 is Simplicity 9740, or you can choose 9741 for the women's sizes. It's a knit polo dress in two lengths, long and short. It has drop shoulders, short sleeves with top stitching at the sleeve, and a back vent at the hem of the longer view of the dress. This pattern ranges from sizes 4 to 20 for the misses and 20 to 38 for the women's. It is rated right as average, but I'm going to call this one easy, y'all. And I know your eagle eye might have called it, and you're probably thinking, Mo, isn't this the same as Simplicity 9614? And I would say you're right, but I included this one for the extended size range. And just in case you can't find 9614, you have this option as well, and you can always hack it into a shirt. For another easy breezy dress option, number 10 is Butterick 6653, which is a pullover knit dress. It's close fitting through the bus with a keyhole back detail. And this one, you can vary the length. And if you're visiting Augusta this time of year, I recommend sewing up the shorter length. And you can also contrast the front neck band. Now you can do a border print with view B or color block throughout and this pattern ranges from size 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. If you'd like to opt for something with a little bit more coverage then number 11 is definitely for you. It's McCall's 8477 which is a drop shoulder shirt dress and it has a double yoke, top stitching, and it has three different length and sleeve variations and it also comes with an optional sash. The size ranges run from 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26, and this pattern is rated as average. Now, I adore the orange that the model is wearing, but you can also opt to do this one in a print. And if you'd like more bold colors, it can be fabulous in a magenta or even green jacket green. Now, if you want to make a sundress, Aronica's got us covered with Nomi 2072 which is a deep plunge dress, or you have the option for a jumpsuit, and it has drawstring gathers at the shoulders, optional front buttons on the waistline, side seam pockets, which is always a plus, back ties, and an invisible zipper closure. The dress is tiered with a gathered ruffle at the skirt, and the jumpsuit is wide leg pants. Either look is perfect for the country club. Now for obvious reasons, aka the bathroom situation, I will recommend saving the jumpsuit for another beautiful spring day, but the sundress is going to have you looking absolutely stunning just like Aronica in this photo. And I'm going to round off the women's patterns with number 13, which is an accessory, Simplicity 9505. View A is a bell-shaped hat with five panels and it's lined. View B is a wide brim hat and has a lined crown, a brim with top stitch and detail, and wire in the outer edge. View C has a wide brim that's a little bit narrower in the back with top stitch and detail and a wire in the outer edge. And view D is a lined cap and has a shaped crown and visor. And the band is enclosed in elastic that gathers at the back. And in true Southern Belle fashion, I'm going to recommend view B and C for maximum sun protection. And if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to stick around to the end because I'll also be giving you three tips if you're visiting the Augusta Nationals for the Masters Tournament this year or if you're planning a trip to visit next year. And we're finishing this lineup with the men's patterns. Now, the fellas from the Nomi brand definitely did not disappoint. Number 14 is Simplicity 9718, which is a knit top, cargo pants, and shorts. The knit top is finished with a rib trim on the collar, sleeves, and the hem band. The cargo pants and shorts feature front and back pockets, patch pockets with flaps at the legs, and a front zipper with button closure. The size range on this pattern runs from 38 to 46 and 48 to 56, 
and it's rated as average. I'm loving the stripes that the model's wearing, and if you're feeling more bold, you can opt for polka dots in your knit, or even florals, or abstract print. You can definitely have some fun with the color blocking and print blocking with the rib knit trim and the body of the top. And if you really want to make a statement, you can opt for a bold color with the cargo pants, or even a cool pastel. Number 15 is No Me 2035 from Norris Donta Ford. Now, Norris definitely showed out with this pattern. It is a knit short sleeve polo shirt with a collar and three buttons at the placket. It's paired with a slim fit bell bottom trouser with front slash pockets, and it has button through welt back pockets, which is a very tailored detail. I really feel like he was channeling a 70s aesthetic with drafting this pattern, which it definitely gives nod to that. This set is definitely a modern take on vintage classics. Even the shades give a little nod to the 70s, which I'm just loving. Now, if you want to stay within the monochromatic look, but not go for the all-white, I do recommend trying this in pastels or jewel tones in the same color range. Or you can vary the shades of the color, but keeping it within the same color family with just either opting for a light or a dark tone at the top or the bottom. Number 16 is Nomi 2041 by Donnie Q. This pair of pants and shorts is by far one of the coolest patterns here because these pants are actually convertible. So the pants convert to shorts using a zipper. They have cargo pockets, a fly front zipper, and a waistband with belt loops. Now, while you can wear whatever belt you like with it, he recommends wearing either a twill tape or webbing belt with a parachute buckle closure. And the size range runs from 34 to 42 and 44 to 52 and is rated average to sew. Number 17 is Nomi 2018 by Julian Collins of Julian Creates. And this ensemble includes a button up shirt with a contrast Italian collar. And you can do either short or long sleeves with contrast cuffs. The pants include front pleats, slash pockets, single welt back pockets, and belt loops and you can do either a straight or cuff wide leg. The pattern size ranges from 34 to 42 and 44 to 52 and is rated average to so. sew. The contrast in cuffs and collar are a very unique touch to this. It's really reminiscent of Robert Graham and it gives off a playful yet dapper look. And since his patterns are so nice, I had to include him twice. So here's another gem from Julian wrapping things up at number 18 is No Me 2009. And this combo includes a knit top that has button front placket, long sleeves with cuff bands, and a bottom band with button details, and slim knit pants, which have a fly front zipper, front pockets, pin tucks, a drawstring waist, and single welt back pockets. And the sizes range from 34 to 42 and 44 to 52. And this one is also rated average to sew. This set is all about comfort, but best believe you are not sacrificing style. You can really play up the details of this pattern and show off your personality with the color blocking choices. Or you can opt for a more classic look and keep it with the solid colors. But whatever direction you take this one in, your style will definitely be on par with excellence with this ensemble. And now, as promised, here's three tips from a local when visiting the Augusta National Golf Course. First and foremost, you will definitely need comfortable shoes. I think people underestimate the amount of walking that you do at the Augusta Nationals. And even if you've seen photos or videos on TV, you don't really know how hilly it is. So I would definitely highly recommend comfortable walking shoes. And to be specific, I recommend sneakers with good grip on the bottom. Because even though it is spring here and it's sunny most days, the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. And it can rain out of nowhere, which makes the grass quite slippery and making the hills on the course even more treacherous. So my number one tip is to definitely invest in comfortable walking shoes or non-spiked golf shoes. Tip number two is equally, if not more important, is sun protection. And because the humidity adds insult to injury, this Georgia sun is nothing to play with. So make sure you apply your sunscreen, have your sunglasses, and a good hat. And tip number three, and I cannot stress this enough, 
is a long lasting bug repellent. And trust me, a good bug repellent will help keep the prehistoric swamp mosquitoes from draining you like a vampire. And yes, you heard me right. I said prehistoric swamp mosquitoes. Don't believe me? You can Google it. I kid you not, they look like daddy long leg spiders with wings. So please do not forget your bug spray. And if you visit Augusta for the Masters Tournament or just during the spring and summer, I promise you, you'll thank me later. If you found this video fun and inspiring, then watch this one next. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, y'all, keep sketching, keep sewing, and keep the momentum going. Take care.